Today, technology has moved by leaps and bounds. Also, the war and technology have been merged in such a way that distances are no embargo. We have missiles which can go across continents, go out into the atmosphere and re-entry to destroy cities. Suleimani was killed by a drone by people sitting thousands of miles away in the United States. Osama was being monitored for more than two years by people sitting in the US. So that is how today's warfare has moved. It is moving on artificial intelligence by radars and other fighting machines for which technology has been a big boost and these fighting machines are the force multipliers of all the armies across the world and our country is not to be left behind. Our army has got futuristic weapons or there are weapons in the pipeline which can really give a tough fight for our very so friendly neighbors like China and Pakistan. Also our Prime Minister's scheme of Atman River Bharat or the Make in India or has put our private industries like LNT, Mahindra Defense Systems, Tata SED to rack their brains along with DRDO to make these weapons of the future. But whatever be the weapons which are technologically boosted but still we need the infantry, the queen of the battle to hold the ground and also they are being boosted up with many weapons which can assist them in effectively holding ground. Now some of the weapons which are in the pipeline for our armed forces. Firstly, we have the advanced medium combat aircraft being manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautical Limited which can touch a top speed of 2.5 Mach and go up to a height of about 65,000 feet. It has 70 to 80 percent indigenous pairs and it is using the advanced active electronically scanned phased array radars which is called the ASA. This aircraft will have super maneuverability, will be a multi-combat aircraft having air superiority and also having capabilities for ground attack, bombing, intercepting, strike and can be used in very many other roles. It will be state of the art having various flight surface and control systems with two internal weapon bays having four air to air missiles and has a 30 mm cannon to ward off any attack. We are also on a lookout for high thrust engines for these aircrafts and hopefully this will be on the road by the next decade. Then we have the INS Vishal which is likely to be a nuclear powered aircraft carrier and it will be 50% longer than the INS Vikramaditya. This is being developed by the DRDO and it can carry up to 55 aircrafts out of which 35 aircrafts will be fixed wing and 20 rotary wing. Also this will be having the latest pattern Catobar launch system. Catobar launch systems are catapult assisted for takeoff and recovery. This causes the mainframe of the aircrafts to have less stress and also assists ease in landing and takeoff, therefore requiring lesser runway. It has got the US assisted electromagnetic 
aircraft launch system which is the alarms and it is the first non-western carrier with the complex catobar system and INS Vishal and Vikrant will be launched into our Navy by the beginning of the next decade. We have the Agni 6 intercontinental ballistic missile which has a range of 8000 to 12000 kilometers. That means it can strike any city in China or well within Pakistan. It has got nuclear heads. This missile is four stage with the capability to carry about four nuclear warheads and it has the multiple independently re-entry launch vehicle system so that these basically go out of the atmosphere of our earth and re-enters to get more distance and more range the nuclear warheads has a more striking area because of the re-entry vehicles and each of these missiles can carry up to 10 MIRVs with a weight of about 3 tons each and it is much lighter than the Agni 5 missiles. In the pipeline are Brahmos Mark II being manufactured by DRDO and Russian NPO Machino Pstraya which has been named as Brahmos Aerospace Private Limited. It is a hypersonic cruise missile going along the nape of the earth and has a range of more than 1000 kilometers. It touches a max speed of 9 to 8 max. It has been tested and was to be deployed by 2020 but there have been certain delays and will be operational maybe by end of this year. This is supposed to be the fastest cruise missile in the world and the fourth generation Russian naval destroyers or the destroyers which are going to be manufactured by our own industries will also be laced with these hypersonic missiles. Then coming up is the Tejas Mark II by the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is a multi-role combat aircraft with stealth capabilities. It has improved survivability again having it has the advanced active electronically scanned phased radars or the ASA radars. Then there are onboard oxygen generating systems, a bigger cockpit for ease of the pilots, a head up display and this may not be the fifth generation aircraft but is a fourth plus plus generation aircraft which is going to boost the fighting capabilities of our air force. Now India was on a lookout for a futuristic main battle tank because the Arjuns are starting to getting phased out and to counter the Pakistani army's M1 Abrams the design of the FM Betty has been inspired by the Russian T-14s or the Armata MBT and also in today's battle scenario India needs a lighter tank than a heavy 60 ton MBT because there are places on the high altitudes in Leh and Ladakh where tanks have to be landed up and the T-72s and the T-90s are basically not fit for those terrains. So CVRD is on the road to manufacture such a tank along with Tata and Mahindra defense systems which will have better stealth capabilities with a smaller slit and 
paint which will evade IR, armor which will withstand the fin stabilized armor piercing discarding sabots and also will be one of the first tanks to withstand the kinetic energy ammunition. Then it will have excellent corrosion resistance capabilities thus lowering the weight of the armor causing a complete decrease in weight of the tank and it will have inherent thermal and acoustic insulation properties with the active and passive protection system this will be one of the MBTs which will be light and also be able to withstand the kinetic energy ammunition and be the first of its kind for the artillery we have the ATAGS which is the advanced towed RT gun system it is 155 mm public 52 caliber howitzer manufactured by the ARD Pune and Tata SED combined it has a screw type muzzle brake with magnetic recoil mechanism with an effective range of 48 kilometers and with a high energy base bleed rounds it can achieve a range of about 53 kilometers it is low in maintenance highly reliable with an electromagnetic system and is two tons lighter than any of the howitzers in use trials for these are on and it has got a very high rate of fire so these are some of the fighting machines which our army is going to acquire under the make in india scheme there are other small arms also which are under fabrication by various of the factories or the research labs of DRDO. So keep listening to us for these futuristic weapons and subscribing to our channel. Jai Hind!